And finally tonight, we've been telling everyone that if we all link arms together and buy Made in America goods, we can jumpstart jobs. And tonight, our hunt for Made in America goods takes David Muir to the doorstep of a house, every inch of which, down to the nails, is made in America. 2,100 miles from New York, we landed. Greeted by a landscape distinctly American, the blue skies hovering over the mountains of Bozeman, Montana, population 40,000, where not only do the flags fly proudly, they're painted on. But in this small town, one builder is taking it much further, right here where North Montana Street meets Cottonwood. Here's the house here. We were about to tour the house this builder is convinced will pave the way for jobs in America. Hey, come on in. Just about everything that I'm looking at is American. More than just. Every piece in here is made in America. Every nail, every screw, every piece of tape, the paint on the floor. You see, the builder, Anders Lewendahl, is out to prove something. Because he's not just a builder, he holds a degree in economics. He also holds the brand new blueprint, he says, that would create hundreds of thousands of American jobs right now. He has a simple challenge. If every builder used just 5% more American materials, he says we'd create 220,000 jobs right now. And that's just 5% more American. But how easy is it to find American, and what would it cost? So you'll take me downstairs? Let's do it. We inspected every corner of the house, the nails. U.S. made nails. The staples. So this staple here came from? That is made in Georgia. The windows. Montana. Even the steel rods holding the house in place. Illinois. Hard to find, but you found it. We did. Next stop, the bathroom. Where's the tub from? I knew you asked that. Back to the list, aqua glass from Oregon, the fixtures Bowen from North Carolina, and his son Jake screwing in the electrical outlet box, the wire from Georgia. But right in the middle of the tour, the dead end. They tell us about the day they were laying the foundation and needed J-bolts to hold it in place. They couldn't find them anywhere in America, and we asked, what is a J-bolt? So they've got them right here. Correct. So what did they do? They rushed in steel from Utah and hired a machinist right around the corner to make the bolts. They worked the phones for us to confirm that everything here is American. The doors just arrived from Minot, North Dakota. So we come back next week, we'll be able to knock on the door. That's correct. <laughs> Seen week. That sounds good. So literally from all over the United States. Absolutely. Washington, Indiana, Ohio. On that list, 33 states and counting. North Carolina. All sending Texas, materials. Illinois. Pennsylvania, and he was still going. Oregon. Arkansas. The builders behind this home made in America do acknowledge that using all American products can be a little more expensive at times. They point to the nails, for instance. This box of American nails, $5 more than the Chinese nails they could have purchased. But there's also a flip side. They say the American nails jam the nail gun far less often. The steel for the house, more expensive too. $916 a bundle for American steel. Foreign steel, $770 a bundle. But take the plastic piping. The price was the same. So was the price for the windows. And some things were a lot less. The shower, for instance, saved them money. And look at this view. You can see the mountains right here. And the family who will enjoy this view, mom told us they want to move in by Thanksgiving. Do you see people actually driving past yeah. the all-American house? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we saw it, too. So the neighborhood knows about it? Oh, The yeah. neighborhood knows about it. Heck, yeah. And remember the builder's simple challenge. Even his son's on board. Of but you just not. want them to change how much? Just 5%. The son's on board with dad. Just 5% more American goods, Diana. They're convinced. 220,000 jobs right now. Items like the J-Bolt. They went to Utah for the steel and found the machinist down the street. Completely amazing. And then you decide for tomorrow night you're going to take a list and send it to other builders, try to get those jobs. We've got the blueprint. Every American product in that home on a list, send it out to builders across the country. They'll react tomorrow night. And economists weigh in. Is the formula accurate? Wait to hear what they say. On the road with David Muir and the Made in America team. Thanks so much. And we'll see you tomorrow. And by the way, we're going to post that list right online on. for anybody who wants to know the Made in America goods for your home.